I'd like to begin by saying, fuck Lance Armstrong. Fuck him and his balls and his bicycle and his cancer and his steroids and his yellow shirts and the dumb empty expression on his face. I'm tired of that asshole. And while you're at it, fuck Tiger Woods, too. There's another jack-up I can do without. I'm tired of being told who to admire in this country. Aren't you sick of being told who your heroes ought to be? Being told who you should look up to? I'll choose my own heroes, thank you very much. And fuck Dr. Phil, too. Dr. Phil, Dr. Phil says I should express my emotions, so that's what I'm doing. I want to tell you it's a pleasure to be here with you tonight. Uh, not many years ago, not too many years ago, I would have given my right arm to be in the same room with 4,000 people who knew where to score. <laughs> Teacher, 
Hey, kids, you ever seen one of these? Come here, come here, kid, come here. But a 14-year-old boy is supposed to have a perpetual heart on. You don't tell that shit to anybody. Not even your best friend. That's a secret. I guess I can take comfort from the many thousands of young boys who are out there tonight fucking their teachers and not saying a word about it to anyone. For everyone that's in the news, there are a thousand more you never hear about. Now, since the last time I rolled through these parts, and I do roll through with some frequency, I'm a little bit like herpes, I keep coming back. <laughs> Since the last time I saw you, most of you folks, I have had my 70th birthday. I am now That's that's my natal birthday, okay? 70. 70 years old, and I am 70, although I, I, I like 70, but I, not as much as I like 69, you know, 69. But, but 69 was always my favorite number. I figured now I'm, I'm 69 with one finger up my ass, you know? consider myself to be an old fuck. Not, not, not an old man. Old, old fuck is a very special term. It's not the same as old man. Old man is not really a time in your life. It's not really a period of life. Old man is an attitude. It's a point of view. It's a way of looking at things. Some guys are old men when they're in their 20s or 30s. You've seen guys like that. Sometimes a kid is that way. Did you ever see the little kid with the glasses and the double-breasted suit and he's walking around like a little old man? Not me. Not an old man. Not an old fart, but an old fart is kind of What I am is an old fuck. It's kind of like a fat fuck. <laughs> fat fuck, tall fuck, skinny fuck, short fuck, old fuck. Who's the old fuck on the corner? Oh, that's Georgie. Georgie's the old fuck. In this respect, fuck is actually a synonym for the word fellow. But now that I'm an old fuck, I'm beginning to learn there are a few things, a few advantages that come with putting on a few extra years. The first one is, you, you never have to carry anything heavy ever again. Everybody wants to help an old fuck. You know, if you got a big suitcase or something, you just kind of get it, you know, like this, and, hey, King, can you help me with this one? Yeah, sure, how far are you going? Indianapolis. <laughs> Might as well take advantage of these people that want to help. Fuck them, take advantage of them. <laughs> Another nice thing about getting old is um, you, you, you can leave any social event early just by saying you're tired. <laughs> Works great with family members. You just look at the guy next to you and say, Yeah, I'm getting kind of tired. Oh, you get tired? Come on, Grandpa's tired. Grandpa's going to bed. Someone else is but it's 7 in the morning. <laughs> Always one fucked up person in the family. And the best thing about getting old is you're not responsible for remembering things anymore. Uh, even important things. But it was your daughter's funeral. I forgot! You can even make believe you have Alzheimer's disease. Well, that's a lot of fun. You look around the dining room table and you say, Who are you people and where's my horse? And you look at your eldest son and you say, Agnes, I haven't seen you since First Communion. <laughs> Fucks them up. Fucks them up. They don't know how to handle it. it. Takes them about a week to get over that shit. <laughs> and they start listening to you a lot more carefully from then on. So don't be afraid to get old. It's a great time of life. You're not, you know, you're not responsible for anything and, and you get to take advantage of people. You can even shit in your pants. <laughs> They expect it. I haven't tried that yet. But I don't rule it out. But keeping my options open, everything is on the table. Perhaps that's not the figure of speech I want right there. Do you know what I've been doing? Going through my address book, crossing out the dead people. That's a lot of fun, don't you? Have a lot of fun doing that? You do it all your life, but you do a little more when you get older. Crossing out the dead people. Gives you a feeling of power, you know? Gives you kind of a feeling of superiority to have outlived an old friend, you know? Fucking 
But you can't do it too soon. You can't do it too soon. You can't come running home from a funeral. You know, get up. <laughs> little time has to pass. You have to let a little time pass. I have a rule of thumb, six weeks. If you're a friend of mine, you read my book and you die, I leave you alone for six extra weeks. Six weeks in the book on the house. But then after that, hey, facts are facts, fuck you, you're dead, <laughs> out you go.